Hey there, you guys. So uh, you have probably seen Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt everywhere promoting their new movie, The Fall Guy. Starting today, you'll get to see what all the hype is about. I think worth it. Here's my Dean's List review. I'm just a stunt guy. This is insane, man. Stunt people are truly the unsung heroes of the action movie business. With rare exceptions, like with Tom Cruise, stunt doubles are the ones taking the falls, the punches, the explosions, the car rolls, the flames, and anything else that is just plain ridiculously dangerous. And this movie has them all in spades. In The Fall Guy, Ryan Gosling plays one of those fearless folks in the movies. After a near career ending injury and a year of recovery, he's talked back into the business to work on a film on which his egotistical A list double is starring, but now has disappeared, and that his longtime secret love of his life is now directing. The storyline provides all the elements here for a non stop ride of action and comedy and romance, and plenty of inside showbiz is skewering that takes off like a runaway train and doesn't stop even during the credits. Gosling and co-star Emily Blunt are like the Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn of modern day. Their love-hate chemistry is palpable, not to mention that they're just so darn cute together. All of the other supporting characters, like Ted Lasso's Hannah Waddingham, Black Panther's Winston Duke, along with British actor Aaron Taylor Johnson, offer incredible side performances that enhance the story and provide their own moments of hilarity. It's an homage to stunt performers everywhere by director David Leach, a one-time stuntman himself. Ryan Gosling made his mark last year in Barbie, and then again recently on SNL. The Fall Guy will be no different. Let the summer movie season begin. It's a Dean's List B+. And you can get my weekly movie review sent to your phones every week by texting the word Dean to 97999. Sponsored by the Joffrey Ballet, presenting Midsummer Night's Dream now through May 5th. Get tickets at joffrey.org. Also tonight.